Hello everybody, welcome back to Repentance. So two things, or a few things. Well, first of all, first of all, I spilled some water on my shirt right before starting the recording. I have a glass of water right here and I kind of spilled, so that's what the sweat spot is. In case you're wondering, I'm not lactating or anything. And two, I've been screwing around with the, the video output recording thing the the quality is a lot higher now i figured out what was wrong with the video quality and now it's really high and i just hope that this records okay this is the first isaac video that i've recorded with this high quality i recorded a few zombie clips for a video i'm making i've started all over because i don't like the video quality that i've been recording so now i have to redo 12 hours of footage for the zombie video, but I also need to get some Isaac videos up. So, I'm going to be doing that right now. I just hope that everything goes well, and if there are some frame drops here and there, I'm sorry. I'm going to try to figure that out. I just hope that this is usable, and I know I probably shouldn't be saying this because you guys aren't going to know this if it happens, but if the video is, like, on playable then i'm just going to sum up what i did in this video in the next video and just show some clips of what i did to try to salvage ev everything i can so we're on challenges we got cat got your tongue and demo man i'm gonna try to do both of these today depending on how long cat got your tongue is if cat got your tongue takes more than 25 minutes then i'll do demo man later but i'm going for those two so cat got your tongue your guppy you have guppy's hairball and you can't fire wow that looks fun honestly like guppy's head is good but i honestly might prefer having eh no eh, maybe well, I'm, I'm thinking like could Guppy's paw be better for this, just to get more HP? But I I don't know. I, I think Guppy's head is better for this, but I'm not sure. You, you do spawn flies when you hit enemies, but since this is Repentance Guppy, you're only going to be getting, um, the, the flies, um, for like 50-50 instead of every single time it hits. So we got Duke of Flies, there's gonna be no item rooms here. I assume, since we start off with three items. Now, does the hairball restart after every floor? Because if it does, that might make this a bit difficult. It doesn't look like it does, so yeah, in case you can't tell, every time you hit an enemy, the hairball will grow a little bit bigger. Oh, great, thank you. And I don't know if it does more damage, but it, it makes it a lot easier to hit enemies this way. Honestly, it might be better to use the stick. I'm playing on an Xbox One controller. That's how I play Isaac now. I, I used to be really good at keyboard and mouse, but after getting a, a million percent in Afterbirth Plus on PS4, I just can't go back to keyboard and mouse. Like, if I have to play keyboard and mouse, I can, but one, it's really... Oh my gosh, I can't... Can... Please tell me this works with the hairball. Aww. Poison Tears is so good. But yeah, the keyboard is really loud, so it's hard to to use it without hearing like giant clicks because like my keyboards the keys are just really loud. Like I I, I was spamming the mute button. Okay. I I don't think Scorpio works. Yeah, it definitely doesn't work, unless... Yeah, I don't know. Um... Might as well see what's in here. Nope. I want to see maybe if there's, like, 
run baby again. That that would be really good. Just I can hold a uh, directional button and I'll constantly have fly, so I don't need to depend on my hairball. Also, what it looks like is that the hairball gets less and less, or like it, it shrinks a little bit after the end of every floor, but it never goes like all the way back down. Um, I'm, I'm gonna keep going with this. Full health? Wow, thank you. Okay, well, that's kind of worthless, but. I mean, I got a mom item, so I'm. I might get the mom transformation out of another means of offense. That could be good. Oh. <laughs> oh boy. I'm honestly thinking about just tanking the hits and then the black heart kill them all. But no, I'm almost done with this. Floor, come on, a little bit further. All right, all right. Ooh, hearts, uh-oh, okay, this is what I'm scared of. I just need to be careful. Honestly, I think I can take out the red guys. Okay, never mind. Mm -hmm. Crap, I mean, that worked, I guess. Let's see what's in the shop. There might be something good in here. Ooh. Mm. Ooh, the habit is good. But there is no way I'm going to get enough money. Well, maybe that dime might give me enough. Because every time I get hit, I can just spawn more flies. On me, stop being dumb. Closer. Coins. Uh. Okay, well, it doesn't look like I'm getting the habit. Okay, let's just. Ooh, Cuba meat. It's honestly insanely good. Because now I don't have to only rely on the the hairball. And I actually learned something recently. I might be completely misremembering this, but I think I read somewhere that Ball of Bandages actually does more damage than the Cuba Meat. I might be just completely wrong on that, but. Oh, hello, Mini Mush. Okay. Excellent. Oh, I was just about to say how I dodged that before I got hit twice. Okay, Tinted Rock. Ooh, that is actually very kind of useless. Except the flies will do more damage than that, so that's fine. Probably will have preferred HP. Hmm. Just a you now. I don't know if damage stacks with the the hairball. I don't think it does. Crud. Don't lose my angel chance. There's really no reason not to go. Okay, that means nothing. Oh, okay, well, that's good. I was about to say, ooh, that's one towards Guppy, but duh, I'm already Guppy. So now, if I just straight up die, then that's, mm, I have a 50-50 chance to come back. I'm honestly, it doesn't matter, just, just kill him. Then might as well go back for the HP.
I'm sure when we get to the point where, like, I'm spawning more flies than I'm losing. But it doesn't look like it. Okay, we have enough money to buy something. And what's going to be available? We couldn't buy the habit. But this time... I, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, yeah, none of those items are that good. So, let's just move on. Perfect. Peep. Crap, I thought I had a bomb. Oh, strip. I don't care. <laughs> Just get them out of here. Dude, I don't know how I'm supposed to... to beat Mom, because now... Her foot does contact damage. The old strat would be to just, like, ram into her and have, like, the the hairball just do all the damage. But now I can't really do that. Oh, come on. Kill me. I'm the fine pill. Retrovision. That kind of sucks. Dang it. Killing me? I, I, I can't even see where they're falling. Um... Get this retro vision out of here. I don't care, just kill him. Oh my gosh. You're killing me. Okay, I do want to see if I can find a shop. Because a really good item in the shop could be huge. Since we have the member card, we could find something really, really good. these dead ends and I also hate that the flies are killing the enemies before I can so I can't spawn in more flies just out oh my gosh I'm a moron squeezy's good just for the for the soul hearts oh I'm going to turn into the joker okay I got a heart Honestly, at this point, I, I should probably just be doing all of my damage with the cube of meat. Ooh, I better be able to buy something really, really good on my shop. Okay. Cloth, notched axe. Notched axe could be good. Ooh. This would be so good if I could shoot. Blood of the Martyr would be good. Eraser would be good. Cancer would. That, that's an amazing room if I could shoot. But I. Ugh. I might go with Notched Axe. Because cause that can damage enemies. And I can shoot that way and poison enemies. It does quite a bit of damage. And I don't know if Guppy works with it. 
I, I don't know if that's Guppy doing it or the hairball, but it seems like it's working well, so I just gotta save it until the next floor. Okay, I just gotta save it until the mom fight. So that should refill. That does refill. Boom. I just need to get to the mom fight as fast as possible. As well as trying to get my HP back. Now let's just get this over. Ooh. I'll say I'm just gonna find my way out of this room. Nope. Monies can't kill you at the last. I'm worried about the big guy. Heart? No heart. Oh, I might actually place a bomb somewhere. Dude, I'm probably going to die here. Place one right there. There we go. And then... Oh, shoot, I can't hurt him. Okay, let's get him out of the way then. Then drops a chest. Hopefully with some hearts in there. How does this work? With the hairball. It, it doesn't. Okay, so... Closer. There we go. Heart. No heart. Come on. I'm so scared. Okay. There's the boss room. I don't want to go in there without full health. I do want to check out my shop, but I don't know where that's at. I also don't want to deal with that room. I want, I feel like I can, oh my gosh, this ain't much better. Okay, that's a little bit better. So it looks like the shop is down, and I don't want to go there, so let's just fight mom. Okay, let's do this. Dude, why does that actually do good damage? I never thought that Notched Axe would be the MVP of a run. Okay, well, that's it. Come on, want see what's in here. Nope, and let's go. Let's go. That was really good. The Rune of Algiers has appeared in the basement. So yeah, that was 18 minutes, so let's do another one. Let's do Demo Man. Demo Man. Mom's Heart, Dr. Fetus. Oh, I've literally... I've literally done this run before. Like, not even in a challenge. Just, I've done it. It's not even that hard. Alright. Two, three, four. Okay, get that HP. And we're on our way. Yeah, this is going to be a fairly easy run. Now, I do want to go into the Devil Deals to see if I can find maybe Brimstone Bombs. Like, that would be huge for this. Because I'm lazy. 
and boss fight. Birdlings, another really easy boss. Come on, brimstone bombs. Brimstone bombs. We got Guppy's eye. Oh my gosh. Boy, three out of the four? And one of them's a nickel? Wow, okay. Um, what should have had Guppy's eye for that? But, nah, uh, let's, let's just go. I, I really hope that everything's good with the recording. I hope things don't, like, lag or stutter. Because I've read online that people have that problem when recording in really high quality. The zombies footage I recorded today seemed to be okay. I recorded about an hour of Alpha Omega in lower quality, and I watched it back, I'm like, wow, this does not look good. So then I changed it, and I recorded like two minutes of Alpha Omega gameplay, I'm like, this is a lot better. Then I recorded a 30-minute game of Infection, because I want to redo my old recordings, and it looked pretty good too. So yeah, I'm re-recording all of the footage that I already had recorded. And I really want the zombie video to be out before Vanguard comes out, like literally in three weeks. I, I don't know if I can. I'm sure I can if I just really work hard at it, but I need an Isaac video for Saturday, so I'm doing that. And then once I'm done with this, I'll probably record like two more maps before I go to bed. I mean, it's nine o'clock, so I should probably go to bed soon. But yeah, the Vanguard Zombies reveal came out today, and I can confidently say that I am extremely worried about it because it does not look that. I mean, it, it looks. It visually looks good. Like, the art style looks good. The graphics look good. Like, it visually looks great. But I feel like the where they're trying to go with the gameplay takes everything that people loved about zombies and just threw it away. Like, the past 12 years of zombies is just in the garbage. And, like, I, I know, I, I've seen people on Twitter be like, yo, I've been running around shooting zombies for 12 years. I'm ready for something different. And, yeah, I'm different for... I'm different for some... I'm ready for something different, too. But at the same time, you can't really... It, 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 like, take, take... Take Isaac, for example. It's like Edmund McMillan. He's like... Yo, for this next Isaac DLC, we're gonna try something different with Isaac, and then they make, instead of Isaac being a dungeon crawler, where you get items and make synergies and go floor to floor to floor, it turns into like a, I don't know, like a, oh, dang it, it turns into like a, almost like a, something completely different, like a puzzle game. Yeah, sure, Isaac has puzzle elements in it, and some rooms and bosses, like, there are puzzle elements in the game, but if they, if Edmund tried to make the entirety of Isaac a puzzle game, then I feel like it would just fall apart. And I feel like that's exactly what they're doing with zombies. They in Cold War, they had... Well, zombies has always been round-based. So, round one, you kill zombies. You go to round two, you kill zombies. And so on and so forth. In Cold War, they introduced Outbreak Mode, which is like a big sandbox. You run around, you do objectives, and then you go to round two. You run around, do objectives, go to round three. And not a lot of people like that. I liked it because you could tell they tried to do something different with the zombie formula that we have. I just want to see if this works. No, it does not work. So yeah, that was a waste of a heart. Oops, but oh well. Now I know it doesn't work. But yeah, um, so you have that base of zombies, and now it looks like that Treyarch is just 
removing all of the round base and just making it pure objective. Like, they're going too far in one direction. And even making it so that the people who really enjoyed Outbreak and Cold War are like, Hey, is, I don't know if this is a good idea. And yeah, like, like I, I really did enjoy Outbreak for Cold War. But I feel like this mode is going to crash and burn. And then especially with like the rumors that we're not going to get any round based maps until like season two or something. Like, if I'm being completely honest, I would much rather have Treyarch focus a lot more on like the idea they have now and that they've shown for us now than to give us a round base map later because that would just show that they wanted to do round base maps but they pushed it off or like they don't have enough time to do it or Activision was uh, all this the, the blame lies on Activision 100% and it sucks because like Treyarch knows what they're doing they can do this if Activision wasn't, like, breathing down their necks, being like, hey, we want this done now, even if it's not ready. Like, Cold War was, like, straight up broken for several months. Like, on two different occasions. Like, there was a Season 5 disaster, extremely glitchy game, and then there was with the anti-cheat banning PC players off of zombies... Except, now, like, as of this morning, literally the morning that I am recording this, people are getting banned off of console just for playing zombies. No cheating, no nothing, and, like, and that makes me terrified to play Cold War. Like, like I, I, I would love to just jump into a game of Forsaken play for a few hours, level up some weapons, get some camos, but I'm too afraid to do that in fear of my account getting banned. I don't want the account that I put in 20 days of gameplay to just get banned and have me never touch it again. And if the rumors are true and the bans do carry over to Vanguard, I don't want, I just bought a $70 game, and I want to play that game. Let me play the game that I bought, and I don't want to be living in fear of not being able to play it. And like, sure, like, people are like, yo, you should just sue, sue Activision for this. But like, they put in their terms and services that you have to agree to before you play the game, that they can ban you for any reason. So, a lawsuit against them isn't a thing. Like I, like, I remember back in Black Ops 3, the whole community was, um, threatening Activision with a lawsuit because one of the Easter Egg endings didn't work. And they couldn't work. Um, I'm gonna be greedy here. And yeah, that worked. Because that's... I think that'd be fun. I don't care. I don't care. That's fun. Rocking in a jar plus... Like, 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 I've had this combo before and it's really fun. Oh my gosh. This is so cool. Like, yeah, it's dangerous, but it's fun. I don't say I might as well just bump through the floor. But yeah, so what I'm trying to say is that I am terrified for the future of zombies. I love this mode. I've loved it since Black Ops 2. And I don't like where it's heading. And like, normally I'm really optimistic about zombie releases. Like, even if the community says I should hate, hate it, but I'm looking at it now and I'm like... Yeah, this is rough.
Okay, I'm, I'm actually just gonna give him all my bombs. He actually gives out really good iron jelly. Ooh, Nancy bombs too. It's a bit more powerful than I thought. Oh my gosh. Um. Honestly, I'll take you. And I'll take you. And I'll use you. Okay. Hold on, hold up, hold up. Is that just mom's knife now? Yeah, so it's just a run with mom's knife. Okay. I don't, I don't know if Jacob's ladder works with Mom's Knife. So yeah, so, so this is essentially just a Mom's Knife run now. Okay. And now see how that works. I think that's kind of funny. Dude, this is so weird. Okay, let's just continue. But yeah, I'm really nervous about this upcoming release. And so yeah, thank you for coming to my TED Talk. Oh, there's the burn bombs. The fool. The fool. Just get to the exit, please. Um, uh, I, I can't. This is so funny. Oh. Oh, yeah, run bombs. Sorry, I was looking at my phone. So. I'm honestly I'm just worried about my HP. I'm drowsy. Okay, that's perfect for mom or for it lives. X lax. Oh boy. E that that would also be good for the next floor. Okay, here we go. Mr. Fred. And you're dead. Look at that damage. Wow. Oh, I would love Incubus, but I physically can't take it. Why am I not dancing? Okay, there, there, there we go. Okay. Next floor. Let's just, I'm, I'm not even gonna risk it. Let's just get it over with. We just go straight to the mom, the it lives fight, and then we just 
kill her with mom's knife. And I went the complete wrong way. Ooh, hello, Yira. Nope. Honestly, I'm just gonna... Gosh, probably be shooting that way. And... Here we are. I will be careful. This would be a lot better if I had, like, post hat. Oh boy. Two X locks, an experimental pill, I can see forever, and bombs are okay. Ever. Okay, let's just pop the I'm drowsy. Take out the eyes. The eyes can still do major damage. Get void. Okay, see ya. Boom. Chaos card has appeared in the basement. So, yeah, that's gonna be it. Then it's cursed, a locked challenge, and then these for the rebirth challenges. And then once I'm done with the rebirth challenges, I'm going to take a break from challenges and try to focus on the other stuff. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching. It means a lot to me. I sure hope this recorded okay. I'm going to be devastated if it didn't because honestly, those two challenges were really fun. So, yeah, subscribe if you haven't already. And also, follow me on Twitch. I'm going to start streaming more often. Twitch.tv slash LAN underscore D underscore OW. It's my YouTube name, but with underscores instead of dashes. So, yeah, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.